All right, okay, all right, okay, all right, okay. What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another episode of, for lack of a better word, the Cruyff to Glory, which is, of course, a first owner, poor man, road to glory, no FIFA points, around a untradeable Johan Cruyff. Thank you so much for the reception so far on the first episode, both to my Twitch chat, of course, um, for just being so supportive on what we're doing right now. I mean, I think on Twitch, no matter what, as always, I'm really lucky. I got a pretty big uh, supporter group of people that just support whatever I do. And with YouTube, I'm kind of always a little scared of you guys. I'm not going to lie. Because I always feel like I'm disappointing you guys. I always feel like if I'm not doing exactly the one thing that made me big, which is just a regular poor man road to glory each year, people are always mad um, and always upset. However, the comment section for episode one was super positive. And I, I think I think it's because you guys all know at the end of the day, it is literally the hardest poor man road to glory ever. A first owner poor man. But the only difference is I get to use my favorite player of all time. And I mean, we've all agreed that at this point, over the last five or six years, I think Cruyff has kind of taken that number one spot ahead of Dino and Zlatan and even Wesley Schneider. Um, I get to use my favorite player of all time from the beginning and then struggle with everything else. So I love you guys. Thank you so much. I, I Trust me, you will, you will find your love for this series. If you enjoy my content, you'll find a love for this series. Trust me, today, just even the start of this grind for today, you're going to see where the struggle is right now, okay? So, um, first of all, this is how clueless and lost I am. I was going to try and start the day with a couple of packs so we can get things going um, for the first owner RTG grind, and it's all locked. So, I forgot. This is the first time I've been in the SBC section, of course. I forgot that you need to go and, like, complete... Um, these SBCs. I completely forgot about all of this. So I can't even go do gold two player upgrades, even if I wanted to right now, which I really do, man. Like our team is so ass. I, I, it's just so frustrating. I, I we tried I tried to play four or five squad battle games last night. I was losing on world class, bro. Like, I'm getting smashed. It's absolutely ridiculous. So, anyways. I do it at the end of the, by the end of today's grind, at least want to have this unlocked and, and we get a couple of gold two player upgrades going. So that's going to be a main target for today to try and get the, um, the, the account or the grind going. As you guys know, tail end of last episode, we put this squad together for our first squad battle game. It's, hey, surprise, nothing's changed. Freaking first owner poor man road to glory means I have 28k, but guess what? I can't improve anything, dude. Uh, so I watched Sway play on his road to glory for an hour yesterday and he's got like a meta Bundesliga team already. Hey man, sweet. That's so great. I'm so glad that everybody I know, freaking Krassi's played FIFA on his road to glory for like six hours. He's got like a 700k team. Hey man, sweet. <laughs> so if you guys don't think this series is going to be hard, I don't know where the hell you've been ramming your head into, but it's not into the logical library department, I suppose. Did that... Logical li... Man, I don't think that made sense, but whatever, man. It's early morning. Um, So anyways... Let's just get into the day's grind. Uh, the squad, of course, as mentioned, has not improved in any way, shape, or form. Um, I am trying to use in squad battles right now, like Lamar and Promes and Torreira and stuff. Torreira and Angelino, uh, obviously, Lord Voldemort and I don't even know who the hell this Viking is. Norman. Norman! <laughs> this guy's name is Norman. Um... They're, Norman's okay. Voldemort is awful. So I bring on Angelino in the Rude Hullet role. He's sick, man. Like, actually sick. He's kind of nice. High, high work rates. I didn't even realize that. Angelino as a super sub in the Hullet role in our 4-2-3-1 is very nice. And no wonder now that I've actually looked at his work rates and stuff like that. Torreira is pretty good. Quincy Promes is uh, pretty damn good as well. So the team isn't awful, but the, the, the problem is is it's not going to just be squad battles today. Now, I know for a lot of people, they're getting like FUT champ, uh, FUT champ rewards, division rivals rewards. I didn't want to grind last night off of what tw stream and YouTube would see. Yes, I played one or two squad battle games, but they're they're squad battle games. Like, who cares? I didn't want to like do my first online games off of stream and off of the YouTube recordings and stuff like that because I wanted you guys to experience the pain with me. So 
because I didn't get the two, three, four wins or whatever last night, I had four or five hours before the squad battles was done and people were getting their rewards. I just didn't do it. So I'm even more behind the eight ball. Um, I'm nowhere near top 100 or top 200 for squad battles. Uh, I have didn't even get any rivals rewards, but I feel like it's again, a lot more relatable to you guys because I feel like other than a good amount of content creators or people maybe that burned out their um, early access hours, not many people are going to get rivals rewards anyway. So it, it, it is what it is. It's not that uh, it's not that deep. Now, in turn, oh, see, this trips me out. So I got to click L1, right? So we will be getting some uh, squad battles today, but we will also be starting our grind into division rivals. I would ideally like, though, to maybe spend a little bit of time on the menus this morning. Now, again, YouTube, this is all going to be edited and you'll see the important parts uh, of the grind outside uh, of this intro. But I think we're going to focus on some squad battles, try and improve our team ever so slightly um as we chip away at squad battles and then in a few hours we're gonna start dipping into division rivals if possible the problem is man because it's early access there's not a lot of people playing right now and it's freaking 7 a.m on oh thursday i if anybody in vancouver is grinding division rivals on a 7 a.m on thursday that's bad news for me, man. We're just going to lose game after game after game. So we, we got to be smart with our time. Um, First things first, though, we do have some objectives done just from a few more squad battles games. Nothing crazy, I don't think, but it should give us some packs and stuff to open, I, I believe. So there we go. We got to play a game in squad battles. We got a mixed. What the hell is this? Small mixed customization pack. Okay, that's dead. So that's nothing special there. Then we do have a bunch of these, which is, I believe, all coins. So we played the team of the week. I played it on world class, man. Like, it was too hard otherwise. Um, I did the feature squad. This was a nightmare, by the way. I did this on world class. I, I managed to barely win 2-1. I don't know. I, I'm going to go look at that featured squad, dude. Because it looked like the craziest team ever. Like, I didn't think a featured squad would start off being an absolutely god-tier team. But there was, like, Ronaldo and Varane and Conte. Every good Prem player you could ever imagine, basically. Um... Yeah, I, I didn't bother to look at who was in the feature squad, though. But there you go. Anyways, another 1,000 or, what is it, 1,300 coins or whatever. So, helpful. Um, I might get into a little bit of trading today just to build up the coins a bit. Uh, I think that would be a smart move. It just depends on how much time we have. So, we got ourselves a 7.5k pack. Nice. Love that. All this dead garbage is back. Although, that does look a bit cool. It matches the, the 2018 purple twitch purple Twitch theme. That we've been rocking with since the dawn of time. Any of my OGs remember my FIFA 13 Squid FC, which was a full purple setup as well in uh, on our FUT Founder account, which is, of course, this account that is no longer FUT Founder anymore, but it is what it is. Uh, so, Metaball, there we go. Fonzie, very nice. I'm a little bit apprehensive to use my lone players. I think I'm going to save the lone players for, what do you guys think, Division Rivals, I guess? And then keep... The true meta lone players with, with one game remaining. Like, I think Alfonso Davies, I'll keep with one game remaining. Um, oh, true. Maybe we save them for playoffs. That's a good point. Yeah. Hyung Min Son and stuff like that. I, mean, I think we save them for playoffs. And then Hyung Min, Davies, and Halland. Do I have Halland? Do I even have Halland? Or was I just watching Zwei's... Uh, I think Zwei's doing what Zwei was saying he was going to do. I mean, we're doing a Cryf to Glory, really, right? First owner PMRTG around Cryf. I think Zwei said he was going to do, what was it, a Gomez to Glory? So, like, a Road to Glory around, was it Gomez? I don't know if it was Gomez, dude. I can't I can't remember. I was pretty excited about that idea. No, Lam to Glory was last year. Um, I don't think he's doing it again this year. I think he's trying something something new. Anyways, he had Holland. Uh, I do not have Holland. I think I have Hyung Min Son. Same thing with Frankie. Uh, those types of guys, the good ones. Foden, as much as I, I want to use him, I'm going to save him for... That's kind of cool. I kind I really like the look of that, actually. I'm going to put that um, into our stadium for now. We've got a little purple theme going from some of those uh, stadium themed packs. I'm not. I hope you guys are okay that I'm not showing you stadium theme packs and crap like that. It's all just a garbage, anyways. But anytime when I'm completing a stadium and wh whatever, I just open those packs. Like I, I, you know, who cares to see that type of stuff? Um, saw skills using Foden. He looks good in game. I mean, skills is a very talented FIFA player. So um, I think skills would make anybody ball out for sure but that's good news uh phil foden's stats look pretty good might be good to give him an engine 
Or, oh God, the meme's starting already. Be good to give them maybe even an artist or something. But anyways. What do we got here? So we got mixed, 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 mixed. Oh, wait. Customization items. But it doesn't say stadium. Oh, so, oh well, this is going to be just like kits and crap, right? Is that what it's going to be? Oh, God. Yep. Scotland! Uh, no thank you. <gasps> no thank you. No thank you. No thank you, no thank... Oldham! My old football coach was uh, an ex-Oldham player. That's hilarious. That's kind of cool. I'm going to keep that, actually. Oldham Athletic. The amount of times he let us know he was an ex-footballer from Oldham, dude, was so annoying. And he was bad. Like, whenever we did all our drills and stuff like that, he barely could ever do them. And, and he was... Anyways, whatever. I don't... I don't. so mean for me to shit talk someone I haven't talked to in about 20 years. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, all right. Let's, let's move here. So we got mix. Of course, boys, don't forget your your previews. So mine expire in nine hours. Ooh. Yeah, we'll probably do our previews, I guess, next epi. We won't have them. But don't never never forget to do your pre your previews, man. You never know when something's gonna hit like crazy. Get a Ronaldo for 7.5k coin spent. Absolutely worth it, right? So we'll get our silvers. Fill up, start filling up the oh hey, I need contracts. I'm okay with that. Four contracts is good. Um, I'm really excited about SBCs. I was talking about this to Nep last night. I think, though, that I'm we're going to save the big SBCs for October 1st. Once one to watches and their heroes are in packs, those are going to be pretty damn big for the RTG. So those level of packs... Oh, this is all untradeable, too. Nice. Well, that's kind of a cool kit. Are we keeping cool kits? Like, do I care? Or I, I, I run the leads kit all year, though. Nah, I'm not keeping it. I'm not keeping it. I'll never use it. It'll just start filling up my club for no reason. Um, are heroes in packs in October or December? Heroes are in packs uh, October 1st. We get our one hero card December 1st. Is that a board already? Oh, come on, dude. Okay. I mean, he's not terrible, though. I guess, like, we can maybe drop... Johan Cruyff to Cam now and use Morata, dude. Oh, God. <laughs> we can use Morata. Okay, so that's good. I do like him. So for the intro today, boys, as well, these are all untradeable, so I'm going to keep all of this. Brazil. Is the Brazil League even in the game? Why is this even in, in packs? Uh, Celta. I'm going to discard all this anyways. CSL might be worth, might be worth keeping, actually. Is the Brazil... Hold on. Can we get confirmation? Why is this here? The Brazilian... I've not packed a single Brazilian player from the Brazilian League. That'd actually be... Do you understand how many awesome players there are in the Brazilian... It's not. Cool. Great. All right. Well, let's discard that. Just random fodder from EA to fill up our uh, our packs. All right. And finally, the 26 player item... Or not player item. It's just a, like a, a poor man's um, jumbo pack, I suppose. Hey, Getson Fernandez. Fernandez. Decent little player. Maybe fits into a um nice. That's actually very good. Oh, big sausage dire. Indica has a decent base card, actually. High medium work rate's a bit concerning, but might squeak into a Bundesliga team. Okay. No one else I'm really too. Is this Thomas Frank or Torsten Frank? Torsten Frings, I think, is who I'm saying. This is the Brentford manager, but anyways, we'll keep him because I, I do need a Premier League manager, so that's kind of a W. Right wing, send him into Cam. Spain 2. Croatia, don't need. Southampton, let's go. Where's the lead stuff, man? Big Sosis. I mean, dude, he is very well endowed. That is uh, That is a fact. Anyways, we're up to 29K. So that's going to be... Uh, the end of the intro, the rest of this is all going to be edited up into, you know, key moments, me completing SBCs. Um, the only other thing I wanted to do, maybe, is piece together um, our squads. How, how the hell do you do that? So, squad selector, right? I'd like to rename this. Uh, I'm going to name every one of my big teams is called the Dream year on year. So, I think I'm going to keep that the same. 
the oh the name. So this is gonna be like our FUT Champs Division Rivals Sweat Squad, if you will. Um uh, da, 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 da. Start from scratch. Oh, one. Uh, no, let's do first owner. There we go. Putting it together, boys. First owner. Um, I always want to call it the BPL still. It hasn't it hasn't been the Barclays Premier League for what? Years now? It's just I don't know. I'm an old man, I suppose. Okay, so the idea here is though, not to just fill this with just crap, which is basically what we got, is to fill it with players that are at least semi-usable. So Nicolas Pepe, decent. Um Zinchenko, decent. And that's, is that it? <laughs> oh, oh, Rashika's good. Rashika's decent too. Great, dude. This is, this is just fantastic. Everything's going just fine. Uh, formation wise, we'll go with a four, two, three, one for now. Uh, da, 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 da. there we go. Mings is okay, I, I, but he's not someone that's going to really stay in a first owner prem team. Does that make sense? Um, Okay. I mean, yeah, we could our boy we could put our boy patty cakes, right? And Mings. That's okay. I guess that's something. It's better better than nothing, right? We put Mings there. Mings is actually semi decent. I don't want to be too disrespectful. So maybe we do that. That's a that's a you that's a fieldable five for now. Um now if we go, what would be the next one? Can you believe Ligue 1 isn't a top 5 league? Like, do we not do a Ligue 1 squad? We have to do a Ligue 1 squad. We always do a top 5 first owner setup, but... Um, I guess we gotta do Liga Nos, man. First owner... Yeah, all 5? Well, that's... But that's what I'm saying. All 5 is literally Liga Nos instead of Liga. 1. First... Uh, owner... We'll do La Liga next. What do I care about more? Now, you know what? For me, after the Prem, I think I'm more interested in the Bundesliga, really. With Haaland doing his thing? La Liga overtook Liga Nos again? Or Liga, Liga uh, overtook Liga Nos? Did it? Yeah, okay. So anyways, for me, my, my next most interested league, now that Messi's out of La Liga, I guess is Bundesliga for Haaland, really. Uh, first owner... I think we have to call it Bundes, right? Okay, well that's kind of weird, but whatever. So we'll do that, see what we got here. At least we get a, a baseline of where, where we stand for each league, right? And then whenever we hit, hopefully, a good uh a good league. Uh okay. I mean again, Indica it looks Looks all right. Baku looks all right. Wow, we actually have nothing. <laughs> this is this is crazy. Uh, Angelino is a box to as a box to box. I really like him there. I mean, that's it. That's this is legitimately it. I mean, Kadarabek is okay, R right? <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah, this is going to be a really easy series. Just so easy. So he goes here, whatever formation we'd have to use to, to fit him there. That's where I want him. Anyways, um, Baku's there. Ika is there. So that's the, the Bundes setup for now. Fair. Create new squad. Start from scratch. So up next, um, I mean, probably the Seri. Ah, I don't, man, I have no, oh, whoops. I don't have enough time to even keep up with what is going on right now. I'm tripping out. Everything's fine. First owner. Um Sari. Whatever, dude. 
Spelling isn't my my forte. Formation. Stick with that. Seria is gonna be just as ass, right? Oh my goodness gracious. Dear God. Okay, well. Yikes. Uh I, I suppose we'd use Murata. Danilo semi-usable. Terrera's okay. But legit, I mean, maybe, mm, probably not even Calabria. What does Pedro's stats look like? Damn! Yo, Pedro a little sneaky, sneaky, decent player. For Central Cam in our Serie A squad? Four star, five star. Medium, medium, five, seven. The Spanish poor man's Wesley Schneider right there. But look at the balance and agility. Jeez! 66 sprint speed is horrendous, but for Central Cam, it's not the end of the world. Okay. All right, so there's uh, the best of the Serie A setup for the time being. Up next is La Liga. First. You ever just are so drunk with tiredness that you can't function properly and you can't even spell owner? Uh, oh, I didn't even drink last night, dude, which is kind of rare. Lee League? Hey, you know what, bro? Screw it. That's going to be the name all year. That's going to be the name all year. Uh, I hate everything. Um, Okay. Love it. Lovely and love it. I can't wait to have nobody. <laughs> La Liga. Come on, baby. So Lamar, oh yeah, no, we did just pack what's his name. I actually forgot about him already. That's crazy. This guy. We we genuinely have two players that are usable. Okay. Good start. Well, this is the absolute start. Be interesting at the end of the day to do like for our outro to do a review of our squads. The dream team and the top five leagues. Where do we stand? Oh, <laughs> We stand nowhere, but, you know, I think it would be a cool, at the end of the day's grind, it'd be very interesting after six or seven hours today to see what each league stands uh, by in terms of improvement and intro-outro is two hours. <laughs> That's the way it's got to be, man. These first, well, these first intros and stuff like that are going to be a little bit longer because I have to set this type of stuff up, right? So it is, uh, it is what it is, man. That's just the way it's going to be. Even though the series is edited, it'll pro probably be a minimum of 30 minutes to an hour. I, I honestly think even though the series will be edited, it'll probably be a minimum of an hour each epi. For sure. I just talk too much. Uh, first, owner, league, uh, uh. League, uh, I'm going to get so confused between Lee League and League uh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right. Final team to look at here, and we'll actually be done the intro for the day. God bless it. This is going to be a waste of time because I don't think we have anybody here. Oh, I forgot about Ikone, dude. Yo, this is actually kind of cool. It reminds me of this guy is a baller. He was so good for Ajax and then so good for Denmark, man, in the uh, in the Euros. And I think he's actually doing pretty good for Nice, isn't he? To start the year. Or maybe that was one game I saw. He scored a couple or something. Uh, anyways, I'm talking out my ass right now. I have no idea what's going on. So, Dahlberg and... Wait, he is the ex-Ajax kid, right? Anyways, that's the end of the intro. Let's get into the day's grind. Fun culo, man. <laughs> Jesus. Um, lovey, thank you for the seven, brother. I'm let's catch up with these alerts here real quick, too, before we get into the grind. Um on this account, and I'm still slightly interested in the market, dude. Oh. Yo, Armalika, can we clip this for the Epi as well? I forgot completely to show them this. Well, Armalika will know to include this anyways, or he should! My editor should know when things need to go in, right, Armalika? 
Are you drinking Sambuca while editing again, dude? Greek psychomaniac. Anyways, um, I forgot to show you guys this, but we're going to get into the SBC grind here. I've just been chit-chatting and I forgot to just show you the, the tra do you guys, again, do you guys care about any of this? Now this worked out just a bit of dumb luck. Um, but do you guys care about me showing you the trade pile? I mean, yes, the Twitch stream is going to see it, but do YouTube, do you guys care about seeing these types of things? I, I think if you have any suggestions for what you want to see in the road to glory, you got to remember, this is a grind we do from 3 PM till 10 PM UK every day, 7 AM Pacific standard time till about 2 PM Pacific standard time every single day. That that's the, the first owner RTG. That's our grind daily. Now within that. If there's anything you guys want to see be added into the epi, let, let us know via the comment section. Our Malika is in the comment section, I, thank God, because the way the F1 comment section was is hard for me to read through the comments. Although, like I said, episode one's comments were very positive. Thank you guys. Um, but let us know if there's anything you want to see or anything maybe we're missing. The idea is obviously the intro, um, any notable thing, topic, if we talk about a fun topic that I think would resonate with you guys via podcast style, if it's a five or 10 minute combo, we'll include that gameplay, start of the game, highlights, end of the game, um, online gameplay, no squad battle gameplay in the epis, obviously that's boring. And then, uh, completion of SBCs like me going into the SBC and then, or just completing the SBC for sure. My Twitch stream is going to get three hours a day of me humming and hawing about how to complete SBCs. For sure, YouTube, you guys, remember the OG Poor Man Road to Glory, the three hour long straight YouTube uploads, which like 80% of it was me for two hours in SBCs trying to figure them out. Those are all getting cut out. What we're going to do is you'll just see me completing the SBC, right? If there's anything else, you let me know. So this is center mids. What could we expect from here? Ben me as Taylor's pick. Okay, right. So it isn't his picture still. That's hilarious. That's not me. <laughs> oh, Nabi Keita isn't bad. We can get rid of Mr. Voldemort. Can you imagine? Like, you know, it's the start of a road to glory when I'm freaking excited about a Nabi Keita. By the way, what a banger this guy scored. I thought he would have gotten something for it, man. Four-star, four-star, like, Nabby's not bad. Lord Voldemort can go shove it up his... And demonetized. <laughs> I legit think we got that done, right? Let's go. Big brain, 28T. 80-rated striker. Is there any good non-rares? Voldemort can shove his wand where the sun don't shine. Exactly. Let's go! 80-rated goalkeeper, too. Come on. Please, a Prem goalkeeper. Please. Hey, God, Begovic looks old. <laughs> I feel so... Wait, did they actually purposely give you one of each top five league? Well, that's kind of helpful for the RTG. Let's go. Begovic, get in there, baby. Well, two hours of grinding has netted us a better goalkeeper and Nabi Keita. Like, is that a W, guys? When every other Road to Glory is sitting there with freaking, like, Hallens bought into their teams already after one day. Our improvement... Literally half an hour before 6 p.m. content is Begovic. <laughs> I want to throw up. How do you find this FIFA? I find it very hard. Not in a bad way. I mean, you'll see. I'm about to get smashed. So. We won this one on Legendary. No. Yes. This one on. Was it on Legendary? Yeah. Legendary. This one on Legendary. And then I got crushed on world class dude like this team look at this squad by the way look at this squad hey man what that this Chesney made about 19 saves on me okay then we barely managed to beat this team which was the team that had there's a team that had allison in it and it made me want to castrate myself was it this team no, this team was a nightmare too. Who who has these teams, man? The game's been out for like a day and a half. Relax, you nerds. This team made me want to castrate myself. I I barely beat this on world class. Bro, this Allison again. I'm not talking about dealing with Kante and Ronaldo and De Bruyne and Lukaku and Varane, sorry for swearing, um and Virgil van Dijk. This this guy is so annoying play dirty fc it's a great team name by the way it, I, I, 
I, I, I'm not going to try this on Legendary. I, I will smash... I've not... This is still the first PS5 controller I've had. Now, old Nick 2018, you would know, we try to consume these controllers in Rage or rip them in half most of the time, right? Back in 2013, 14, 15, and 16. So, I've been a good boy. And last night, playing a few of these squad battle games, I wanted to take a chainsaw to my controller. It's so hard. And it's squad battles, bro. So, what I tend to do... Oh, cool. Six set. I was going to say, the, the two crap ones we do on Legendary, and then the two hard ones I do on World Class right now. There's... Na the man has Namor? Wait, where's Namor? Oh, so he's got to be alone. Who gets a lone Namor, man? What? Mbappe just won Player of the Month for August. Well, guess what? This series is going to become Project Mbappe. If he gets a Player of the Month, I'm getting him. For the first owner, Poor Man Road to Glory, are you off your tits? 100%. 100% I'm getting him. How are we going to do that on this no FIFA point BS though? And a player of the month, Halland? Oh my God. Imagine within the first month we can craft an Mbappe and a Halland. Halland striker, Mbappe wide left, like he was all year for us, and Cruyff central cam. He's going to be three mil. Well, I guess me saying that I'm not going to grind 10 to 15 hours a day because I don't want to burn myself out is officially out the window. I mean, I don't know if it's going to matter against this garbage. Is this not something that makes you mad? Like, of, there's so much delay on next-gen consoles, yet the one thing where they're lightning quick is the one area where you want a 5 or 10 second delay. I want to look at my opponent's squad for 5 seconds. And yet now you blast through that in half of a millisecond. What the hell is that? Every reason to believe this will be exciting, Stuart. Is this new? Am I an idiot? Oh, can we watch Johan Cruyff, please, for a second? Oh, Papi in a lead skit. Oh, oh, God, I can't wait to improve this team. I want to smack some people online so bad, dude. I think, I think we might wait till the charity stream, boys. Just kidding. We, we have to get some Rivals games in. I don't know. Maybe we start Rivals today, actually. Had a chance to whip it in here. Oh, Johan! Oh, that was dirty, Papa. Let's go. Oh, I need to make him number 14. What am I doing? Why is he not number 14? Nabby Lad is in the setup too. Look at this R1 to get out of the space. Scoop and then R1 into the space. Okay, that's just a terrible keeper, but still. If that was Allison, he would have made the save. Good goal. There we go. There we go. Take your space, Zinchenko. Take your space. Play him. Yes. Johan, hard carrying boys. Good play, great pass, love it. Very nice. Legendary or not, we can get goals. Don't worry, I'm gonna have a harder time on world class against those good teams. You'll you'll see. Like, I'm gonna get smashed. I was really hoping he'd score a header, but that's okay. I think that counts as a cross, so that's one of the things we needed to upgrade the stadium. So that's a W. Very nice. I just got nutmegged. Bro, what is this, man? Zielinski? Oh! Kickoff boost or what? Wow. Oh, damn. That Zielinski card looks pretty good. As a uh, base. Oh. Oh. Nebby! Oh! Nebby! That's like pound for pound what he managed to do for liverpool this weekend oh my god that four star weak foot is so wild let's go mr nabby what a lad what an absolute lad what a lad gg oh bro i love the crowd chant man it's so good do you guys hear it, or is it just me? Is it like blasting in my ears, but not yours? Oh, you know what? Right there, if I did the L2, and then um, it's basically the reverse Burba while holding L2, that, I think that would have been perfect there with Johan. Because he's got the five-star skill, so it would have been so clean. Hard to remember, like, doing those skills. Oh, oh, God. What a ball! Dude, what? Apparently, crosses are actually super OP. Yeah, 
Nabby. Oh, Nabby! Nabby! Dude, Nabby Keita. I know he's got 70 pace and a lot of people will shy away from that. Four star, four star. Medium, medium work rates in the Hullet role. He's legit. He's legit, man. Uh, he's not as overpowered as, what was he, two years ago? Where was he? When was he still at uh, Red Bull? Was he, was he, he was at Red Bull, right? I think he, he was in the Bundesliga. He was like a super cracked card. I don't know if it was at Red Bull or when it, he just transferred to Liverpool, but he was really good as a starter. I just can't remember if it was at Leip Leipzig or if it was when he had moved to Liverpool. Either way, this card, at least at the start of the game with every everybody's teams being relatively crappy, he's decent, man. All right, boys, I changed my mind. I don't want to get any more coffee. Let's get into the marquee matchups here, boys. So uh, for those of you that didn't see the 6 p.m. content, um, for the RTG, all new content is always going to be huge, right? These marquee matchups are amazing, man. Uh, so for the first set with the MLS players, uh, you don't have to use MLS players, but I just do because of the BPM grind we've already been doing today. Uh, this is, you know... A very easy setup. This is just from players we had in the club, thanks to the BPM grind. And we broke even on the BPM grind right now, so far, with having all these players uh, to throw into the first marquee matchup. So I would make sure, if you're doing this, do it as cheaply as possible, whatever road to glory you're running. If you're running a PMRTG, you want to try and always use your untradeables in these and then sell whatever is sellable, right? Uh, if you're running a first owner, it's a little bit different, but overall, it's still the same idea make sure you get rid of the stuff you can't sell anyways right so always do that first and then in return you're getting uh tradable packs so it's just a silver i can't imagine there's gonna be anything great in here okay i mean that's not that's not terrible i guess anything particularly usable not really i would say not really bpm is printing coins even more right now cool perfect love it We'll get into the BPM grind again. Um, so this will do... The preview pack we'll do at the start of the, the grind tomorrow. Uh, I, I don't know if we'll still be grinding in six and a half hours. So we'll probably just save that, the previews, for... Yeah, yeah, we'll save that. All right, so into the next one. In terms of this next marquee matchup here, this one's for a mixed player. Again, not that great. I chose to do it with Serie A players. You don't need to. Um, I was missing a few. The beauty of it of course is that the players are pretty cheap to buy so i use most of these are all players i think we ended up buying this dude for 800 and i think we bought a few i think we bought this guy for 650 this is what sucks about the new minimum prices of these players not being 350 now every single player you're missing you now have to spend 650 coins instead of 350 which is annoying i mean it doubled the price of the players i had to buy which, I guess at the end of the day, doesn't really matter because we are running a first owner RTG. So it doesn't matter if I burn a few coins here and there because the coins are just used to generate more packs for the first owner grind, right? So anyways, uh, it's mixed player packs out of this one. I, I would, it's not really much that's gone up. As I was looking to buy some of these players that we needed, nothing has gone up in price. So I'd look through your club. Bronze players, bronze packs seem to be very, very good right now, as we've seen. Okay, I mean, Lopez is good for a Liga squad. That's not bad. That's, that is usable. That's very usable. Nice, we got Stewart. Damn, he looks like an okay car. I kind of, I want to use Dallas. I know we just got Nabby, so we're going to use Dallas as an actual DM. Heck yeah, bro. I'm happy about that. I know it might look like I'm overselling things. Uh, we got Will and E as well, which is cool. Lopez will go into the league uh, squad for the time being. Maybe. Might not, actually. Um, I don't know if there's too, too much there in terms of profits. Like, to give you an idea. See these guys? Even though you need Bundesliga players for marquee matchups and stuff, the dude is discard. So, that's both a good and bad thing for marquee matchups and Road to Glory grinders. I haven't really seen an uptick. Have any of you guys noticed a uptick in... Um, in player prices for from these marquee matchups so far i haven't um maybe the mls guy yeah it could be could be up in price there so in terms of the bundesliga once again this is what we did so we got this all done with pack pulled players obviously the bronze pack method grind so as i mentioned within the 6 p.m epi and what i tried to mention and will repeat here for your road to glories try and be smart with this so 
First of all, get rid of untradeables first. You, you just do that because inevitably you're going to get the same player untradeable twice and you're going to get lazy and start discarding those players for nothing. Whereas at the very least, when you're doing SPCs, make sure you're first of all rinsing untradeables that aren't useful, right? If they're useful, keep them, of course. But the useless ones, just make sure to cog be cognizant of using the untradables first now i was gonna get rid of this angelino because he also is an untradable but he is kind of good and he is also 83 rated but the next bit of advice is with something like this where it says you just need a, a minimum of five gold players what i tried to do is use a little bit of higher rated gold players so it allowed me to use more bronzes right we do the bronze pack method grind like crazy so might as well try and use those bronze players where and when you can. Did the same thing with the, the Serie A squad with some of those silver players. Right now, we don't have League SBCs and we probably won't get League SBCs for at least a month. So you can be a little bit more psycho with your bronze and silver main league players. I would personally probably hold on to them as much as possible, but you can be a little bit more crazy with it if, if you want. So, to me, this is the best pack out of the whole lot right here. This could be the beginning of improving this damn first owner PMRTG. Please, God, can we make our team better? Please. Please, please be good. Please be good. Case aboard! <laughs> He's not bad. He's just also not good. Oh. But there might be a dangler. Maybe there's a Militao in there? Or a Lacroix? We don't know. He's good as a box-to-box. -box. The Leeds United legend, boys. For those of you guys that know and participated or watched this summer's Leeds United simulation-only career mode, we rescued Donny Van de Beek from Man United in the first season of the Leeds career, and this guy was the club legend of the series. Donny Van de Bench. Um, does he replace Nabby boys? What do you guys think? I love, I love our Nabby right now, but maybe Donnie replaces him for the time being. Yeah, what did he finish the series off? 92 rated for us and club legend, Champions League and double Premier League winner within five years? Beast. Zapata is whatevs. Zapata is whatevs. I think that's more fodder. None of those guys sell for anything, so we'll just store them in the club for now. And then finally... The Arsenal v Spurs. Again, I was lazy and used untradables and just all Prem players. Uh, we used this guy from Spurs. Um, now, this dude is tradable. So I kind of wanted to show you guys from the BPM. I don't know if he's like gone up in price or anything like that. But we'll have a double check. Yeah, there you go. So, might as well, while he's up in price, uh, list him. Patty Cakes we saved. We rescued, if you will. Uh, could I do this? Does that work? I mean, why not save the 62 rated, right? W. W. We've got more than enough chem. Once again, I'm wondering, would it be better to do this? Yeah. Why not? Oh my god, Alonzo has 58 pace? Never mind. I'm not doing that at all. But he's Spanish, though, so he might be good for SBCs. No, 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 we're going to... He's 58 pace. Dude, this guy's balling for Chelsea right now. I mean, he's kind of balling all the time, but he's do he's really, really doing well. Anyways, we move. So we get a prime mix pack and a 25k pack for the finishing of the marquee matchups. Big packs here. I'm hoping we can get something good, man. I really, really am. So we'll open the prime mixed first six rares come on dude four gold four silver four bronze so the likelihood is this is going to be crap when and who is going to be our first monster pull so which one should we open first let's do this one we'll do that we'll do in in order come on oh no oh my god this is going to be such a hard series bro <laughs> this is going to be such a hard series oh god all right, well, the Prime Mix pack. Oh! It's an Infor. Wait, what? Does it go by rating now instead of value? Wait, what the hell? We got an Inform. <gasps> Fredericks is actually a W. I'm not overselling it. Fredericks, he's like 6K, I think, right now. He's 5K right now, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I just mean, in general, he will be, he will go into our team. 
Fredericks is a W for the Bundesliga setup. Mario. Just balling out. He scored two goals, I think, against, what was it, Besiktas or something this past weekend? And then talked shit. Besiktas or Galatasaray's manager called Bal Balotelli brainless like 10 years ago. So after Balotelli scored his second one, he went up to the manager and started doing that. I love Balotelli, dude. I'll never forget his Euro performance, whatever it was, when he did this. And then I end up packing his purple uh, super extinct Euro card in foot. You guys remember that? That pose? Anyway, so Balo always has a, a place in my heart for sure. Um, so do we take this 10k guys? What do we do with this inform? Inform counted as a silver? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you're right. He counted as a non-rare silver. Oh my god. So that's back again. He's pretty terrible. Yeah, do we take the 10k to just develop the club? What do you guys think? Hold him for a bit. Discards will always be 10k. Yeah, but a 70... I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I'm taking it, man. I want I want I want to start building up the um building up the club. So realistically for any of our starting 11s, Fredericks is the only one that gets in there, right? Everything else is probably just going to be fodder. Right. Well, that's beautiful. I'm very very happy about that. Silver pack method OP. Dude, I haven't even started. Wait till we start putting the BPM into the silver upgrades, the silvers into the gold 3 players. The gold 3 players will pack us a Godfrey um, and a Tony. Don't worry, man. The grind is just here to begin. All right. Final marquee matchup. So we've gotten like one or two players that we can add into the club. 25k tradable pack. Come on. At least a board. Please. Okay, it's a board. Oh, for... F We're going to finish day two with nothing to add to the club. <laughs> To add to any of our teams. <laughs> Come on, man. This is, my pack luck is the worst. <laughs> yes! Yes! First big pull, boys, and it was a dangler! Let's go! Yo, Richarlin Goat is the one, man! Johan Cruyff is getting pulled back to the cam roll. Richarlin Goat is going to be our starting striker, boys. Let's go! First big pull of the series. That to me is a big pull. I don't. He's his price is crashing. He was going for like twenty k yesterday. What is he nowadays? He's seven k. He was twenty k. Yeah, we got a Diallo team of the week again. I feel like we take the ten k, right, boys? Take the ten k and put it into the BPM grind. What are we saying, bro? Thumbnail. Thumbnail. Marquee matchups in the thumbnail. A hidden striker with a five-star weak foot, maybe. With a Premier League badge, maybe. Something like that. <laughs> Let's go, man. I'm hyped. Any other sneaky players in there? No. I was hoping for maybe like a Godfrey or something. 10k and start doing the advanced SBCs. I'm going to save the advanced SBCs for um, October 1st. One to watches and heroes, baby. Prime goalkeeper? Oh my god, am I brain dead? I didn't even notice Galini. Holy god, he's an 82 this year? Dude, what a pack! What a little pack! Welcome back, first owner PMRTG. We're getting excited about a freaking Galini, boys. And uh, Baka, two-player upgrade. Anytime we get a dupe, bang. Unless he's worth more than discard. He's discard. Two-player upgrade pack coming right up, cuties. Let's get it. Oh, man, I'm so happy. Thank God for marquee matchups, dudes. Thank God for marquee matchups. Hell yeah. Um, oh. oh, look at that ping. <laughs> Is that you? That's me, yeah. Oh I'm my god, yeah. Take. I'm like, why are we online? Okay, let's see. Well, let's see how bad it is, yeah. This will be interesting. Uh, about two tenths of a second. Well, it has to be fine. Oh, yeah. I mean, I did I did this in pro clubs all last year, but... I was with ten other players, so... Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! We're just sick with it, dude! <laughs> so sick with it, dude. Let's go. The counter looks on here. Options Ooh. available. All hands on deck. 
Oh, you're kidding. Oh, oh you're kidding. no! Our press shoot so much earlier there as well. Nice. Try and do this first time. Let's go, baby. Big oh. GG's. Good goal. Big brains. Big brains. Well, I don't please, even know what we got the win. Yeah. I don't think it'll be many points. Like, maybe like 1,500. Oof. Clean sheet. Yeah, we didn't get the corners, right? We didn't... Uh... We didn't get the corners, the shots, the balls in the possession, the goal. <laughs> Is it what is possession? There. 60? Does it have to be yeah, a Yeah, 60 possession. I don't 80 know how. Passing. We might have 80 passing, but... 100% yes, pass, pass accuracy for the... Wait, no, that's our goalkeeper. What's happening? We had eight shots, which isn't too bad. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 1,524 points. Yikes, that man. is just not anywhere near close. That we need to be like five owing the yeah five owing that world class is two k right something like that yeah around that maybe twenty one twenty two hundred if you're if you're lucky yeah and then against I I'm getting like twenty five to twenty seven hundred against like five owing legendary but again it's I yeah can you, I can hear you what oh yeah from my controller sorry okay just don't do it again ever ever hi guys. Wait, wait, Hello? How do I... What's up, guys? It's Pantheon so here. loud. How do I mute that? What the fuck? <laughs> this is the worst. Oh, my. Well, it's better than what my ping was, so... Yeah. Dude, I'm sick with it. Don't even worry about Ooh, the ping. Look at that. Don't went down worry. to 150 ping. Wait, why on this screen can I see the teams? But when I do it in mine, it, like, just insta goes through. Are we on PS4? I think, no, I think it's just because we're on co-op. Oh. oh, good vision. Love that. Nice. GG. That was very yeah, delayed, by the way. Like, holy yeah. god. Yeah, I don't know how you did that. That's okay. We'll work with it. Howland? Oh! The AI just cheats, man. Like, what? Doesn't he have a three star weak foot, man? That angle was insane on his weak foot. Well, as the stats tell us, they just haven't created enough chances. I can't. I hate Emre Chan is terrible. Is he? Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy that he was 20k yesterday. Oh, he's got all the stats that suggest he should be good, but I just cannot get him with him in any game. I think chem styles are going to be really big this year. I don't have. Oh my god! I walked near Haaland there, and he done the dirtiest little turn. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that was. Oh my days, obnoxious. That was like playing R9 Rye. What the hell? I, you might have us on legendary, bro. No, uh, 100% world class. Oh my god. So hard. I think the squad battle's co op is going to have to be canned for the time being, man. Yeah. <laughs> the ping just makes it. I mean, the gameplay, anyway, is hard, but the ping makes it that little bit worse. How, how, how? This is world class. At, like, how is he doing that? <laughs> so oh. This is so hard, bro. I'll give over. It's like I've got delay there. That's a joke. That ball was a joke as well. This game hates us. Yeah, I pressed clear so much earlier there, and he just like took two little steps to settle himself. That's gangster. Fucking matter, but. Hernandez. Now with Lewandowski. Oh goodness me, off the post. And the ball is loose. Bro. Good lord. Oh my god. I'm getting all my losses from squad battles, man. This is crazy. World class man. Whatever, dude. I mean, when I played on Legendary Solo, I also lost 4 1, and that was to a worse team than this. Yeah. Yeah, I think you just need a super team to compete. I just think the AI is just too good. Yeah. I mean, Laporte, dude, at least there against Halland, was not able to hang. See if we can find a game. I don't know, NA this time of day. Oh god. Someone at noon in Western Canada is on. This is gonna be a problem. <laughs> Who such is a joke of a goal to concede, man? I won the ball so fair with Chan and get punished for it and he gets a breakaway off of it. <laughs> Never mind! Come on, baby! Well, what is this guy doing with that team? 
Oh, Lewa, you got past better than that, man. Oh, come on, game. This is simple passes, man. Guy's keeper is just ripping me. And it's with Stuart Dallas. I'm about to lose this game to like a starter squad, bro. You winning, Dad? No, I'm losing 3 1. My expected goals are going to be insane as well. It's got to be a foul. Thank you, ref. Penalty! Oh, guys. Well, there might have been a case for a yellow card, but the referee didn't see it that way. Well, Derek, it's a fact. Let's go, Johan. All right. Guy's fighting for his life with bronze players. I mean, I partially want to give this guy the win purely because of it, man. I'm not going to lie. Guy's putting up the most valiant effort I've ever seen. But also, screw him, you know? Nicola Pepe. And teammates to play it to. Kreif. It's just like, I, I don't understand. He's got bronzes, I do skills, I do whatever, and he just like teleports into every tackle. Now with Cruyff. It's offside. And mistimed the run set. I'm not like I'm not upset about the goalkeepers being overpowered. Like I, I I like it because last year they were so dumb. But I just feel like, again, it only goes one way. Like, I have a 3.1 expected goals, eight shots on target, guy's done nothing, and you know his first shot will be a goal. If his first five shots are wonder saves from my keeper as well, then okay, I'm all right with it. I'm down. Challenge to perform, but he succeeded. No he way. Oh, I bottled it. Wow, that broke so well. Because that was a wasted opportunity. I'm, I'm not hating the game. I, I know I need to learn the game. It's just because there's no obvious route to kind of like learning what's good and what's not. Makes it like a little bit more challenging, I suppose. Finally, man. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that is absolutely... It, it, it's not that I'm, I'm hating it. I'm just like... It's just hard. I, it's just hard. Yeah. I'm hard at being, it's hard for me to be fake too. Like to sit here and struggle and get like dominated. I, I can't just be fake. And yeah, I'm not going to just, yeah, I'm not going to be sitting there being like, oh, ha, ha, at least we had a good experience. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Kreif just got bundled over. Yay. Like I'm just not that guy, unfortunately. Well, first game, GG. My God, that was tough, boys. Um, that was tough. That was very, 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 very difficult, dude. That guy's team was awful. It was so bad. I feel like Torreira was the best player in the team. Like, I know Cruyff scored a pen. I couldn't... I couldn't even get anything done with Cruyff. Hey, Marcel! Grazie! Thank you so much for the raid, bro. I appreciate you, my man. Thank you, thank you for the raid. My Italian stallion. Let's go, puppy. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Check out his channel, boys, if you want. Thank you, Maceo. Appreciate the raid, dude. We're just trying to work on our RTG right now, but I mean, I, so what do I need to do? Like, what stats do I need to analyze to, to really figure out what we're doing wrong? I suppose. Basically. Where do I look at the overall summary? Passing. Remember when we found that out? Is it here? Match facts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, if we look at the possession... Overall possession, that was all in his half, right? All that, like, heavy possession. So, I mean, we're doing what we can, really, here. Possession won, possession lost. Again, we're losing, basically, all of our possession in his 18. So, that's a good sign. See how he loses a lot of his possession everywhere on the field? We're losing it in his only, in his 18. So, that's good to see. Um, beat opponent. Oh, wow. I love these stats, by the way. Shooting. So, again, I'm not taking shots from really unnecessary areas. Right? Off top. Like, how does Cruyff miss that chance? Look at that chance off target. I don't know how he misses that. Block shots. This guy had a bronze team. I'm telling you, man. He had like a, a bronze. Oh my. No. No. Game just crashed. Wait, I didn't click through. Oh my god. 
Is that a loss? Man, what, is the game gonna crash when you look at stats for too long? Bro, what's going on there? Your fine gain ended. So if you disconnect after the final whistle, it's all good. Okay, so that's a bonus. I mean, I did want to look at some of the, the, the passing. I want to see where we can improve with the passing. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Um, hey chat. You guys, you guys know what these are, right? Have you ever, have you ever seen these before? Do you know what they are? Literally the greatest fruit ever. These are kiwis. You guys know they, I mean, they kind of look like maybe my nuts. If I go tanning a little bit. You guys don't like kiwis? Peggy 18. I hope that doesn't make YouTube. I really don't. <laughs> oh my God. Finesse's and I got our sub on Danilo and Terrera. Damn, there you go. Oh my God, that's a team. Oof. You gotta shoot quick. Why? Because if not, if the thing will end. No, uh, no, zero. no, because I just got it. So the whole one lasts for me now. Thanks. Well, the phrase, nobody does it better, could easily have been written, especially for Johan Cruyff. Interested to get your take, Stuart. How do you no, and then he gets rewarded with that? Are we back to doing this again this year? Gets a, a pass through my player, a double deflection, and shoots it through my keeper? Well, he puts it away really well. That's, That's what we're doing? Come on, man. That is nuts. This is... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Oh, my. Good tackle. Just kidding. Am I going to get out like a, is anyone going to step up for a pass? Like I'm clicking R1 over and over and over again. Nobody's showing for a pass. All my team is just standing behind his players. What is happening, man? Wait, that had to have been offside, right? Who blows the whistle there? Was that offside? Oh my God. No way they believe was that had to have been offside. For my own sanity, please tell me that was offside. Was that offside? Expected goals 2.7. Guys had one shot, one goal. I've had 11 shots. Okay. <laughs> fun. I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. <laughs> He's offside. Dude, what is happening? What is go- I'm doing every- Come on. Like, I understand a couple of misses here and there. I'm not being smart with it, but... No way he made that tackle with Anthony Martial. This is insane. And he's away with Christian Pulisic. He's literally away. No way. That should have been 2 nothing with his only two shots in the game. That, honestly, he bottled that. The game gifted him that run all the way through on net. Wow, I'm at, I actually got bailed out there a little bit, boys. I'm not going to lie. Wait, what? That's the other goal. Well, that's really good awareness of the situation. He just places that beyond the keeper. That's a top-class finish. Show for a pass, boys! Please! How from kickoff are my own attacker's brain dead instead of his players? And nicely struck. Oh, a nearly moment, but not quite good enough. Will you say? What is going on? And that is the end of the game. 63% possession, 18 shots, 4.2 expected goals. Guy had three shots, two goals. 
4.2 expected goals and I got nothing? Not a goal. Like, look at where my shots are. I'm not shooting from 40 yards out. Nine saves to zero. Look at where my shots are, for God's sakes. Look at the, look at the angles. Look at the positions. I mean, I tried, boys. That's, that's tough. That's so tough, dude. His second goal, my keeper literally had the ball there and his hands went like that and the ball went through him. Like, I, again, it's not that goalkeeping needs to be overhauled or shooting needs to be overhauled. It's that they, they shift the narrative each game. One guy's goalkeeper is a god. The other guy's goalkeeper is a moron. One guy shoots two shots, scores two. One guy shoots 18 shots, scores none, hits the post twice. That's not a shooting overhaul that's needed. That's EA f the game. That's all that is. That has absolutely nothing to do with keepers being broken, good or bad, or shooting being broken, good or bad. It, it's not. That's EA just saying, hey man, it's going to be impossible for you to score. Your opponent's going to score 100% of his chances. Your keeper's going to do nothing. His keeper is literally going to put in an Ali Khan god tier performance. I'm just not going to survive champs, man. That was so insane. I mean, that is not good ping. Four bar? Okay, I mean, you know. Third rivals game? Well, just the sort of I just want to get two finesses, man. Evening, Honestly. I just want to get a finesse in two games. That's really what, I, what I'm looking for here. You can't help but notice there are some great Wait, pass! I clicked pass three so times! Hilarious. What the f*** is this? Th okay, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. There's no way in early access with about 12 people on the game there's this much delay. I gotta calm down. I gotta calm down. I just gotta calm down. Calm down, calm down. Positivity. Positivity. Positivity and vibes. And players waiting in the center. Tierney. Martin Erdegaard. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. And a Amen. goal! An early boost for them. The first goal of the game. They're off and running. Interesting pass. Richarlison. Save that one, Pope, you twat. Save that one, dude. Well, you've got to save us such moments. Sorry, sorry, I apologize. Want a piece of this match. <laughs> well, the attacking options appear plentiful, and that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Can he put them in front? Let's go. Yes, it's the Let's go. Come on, Johan. I see. Did he just double nutmeg my defender? He did a Burba spin that double nutmegged my 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 covering guy and the R1 guy. Holy Jesus. I've never seen a double nutmeg that sends two players to hell and back. What is happening right now? This is all from kickoff? Like, what am I seeing? Okay, we've survived somehow. Jesus. If you had a player there, that was an easy tap-in, obviously. Nicholas. Is this for real? Wow! Bro! And Dombele just no idea what's going on. Just, like, intercepting everything as he's falling over on zero stamina. Good God! Bro, expected goals three. We got two, I guess. What a crazy game. I'm struggling, boys. This is so hard. Oh, oh, oh my god! No way! <laughs> this game can kiss my ass! <laughs> Bro, no! Like, you just don't see this. Why, why do I always feel like I'm the only content creator that has this stuff happen to, man? Game after game. This is what happens in, like... 80% of my champs games, bro. I swear. I swear to you guys. Johan Cruyff. That was meant for Richarlison. That was such a bad pass. I don't know if that's... That's got to be my fault. I must have done something wrong there. But what? There we go. Good interception. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. And it might be... I mean, not to be a... That's offside!
died! Oh my god! I was about to say not to be a but I deserve that. Oh my lord, have mercy! <laughs> what the f- Let's go, Terrera's good too. Dude, what? Guys! Talk to me! What's happening? Dude, what? How is he winning the ball by failing a tackle from behind? That should just be an insta pen. <gasps> what is going on? How is he saving that? It's Johan Cruyff! Kick played in. What? Not the best clearance. I mean, my God, bro. We better pray we hit a Nick Pope, man. Okay, he scored from kickoff last time, right? Let's go. Oh, he's on high press. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's literally going to score from kickoff. Well done, Tyrone Mings. Oh, my God. Big boy. Why? Dude, what is happening? Hey, this is fine. This is totally acceptable for a brand new game that's just been released. This much delay, this many glitches and bounces, totally acceptable. It's fine, guys. Relax. Why are you so mad, dude? Why are you so mad, guys? Just chill. <laughs> Hey guys, just chill. His name and number have been taken as well, Stuart. And quite rightly so. It was a poor challenge. He was right to give a penalty to the referee, and he's right to give the yellow card. Yep. Get panenka my guy. Get panenka my guy. Let's go. Who blows the... I know it's 4-1, but... Why are we blowing the whistle there? You're absolutely oh my right. god. Attacking play was excellent. Let's go. Anyways, that was crazy, bro. That was crazy. Johan Cruyff on a hat trick. Thank god he's still carrying us, man. Goodness. 13 shots to 5. 100 I almost yeah, 146 to 96. 43 tackles, man. 43 tackles. 5.5 expected goals. I mean, at least we got 4. Um, yeah, the ref, so the ref has blown the whistle in the 18 when I've been in on net. That might have been offside, but right there, I passed to the 18 and the ref blew the whistle. Maybe because we're winning 4-1. Um, bro, I can't believe that, man. That was so hard again. Don't get me wrong, boys. I repeat, it's not a bad thing that this is so damn hard. It, it it's, I'm not, I'm not trying to say it's a bad thing, but the fact that we were, we were one nothing down there, right? Or was it one nothing and then one one? I think it was one nothing and then one one. Dude, the s amount of saves Nick Pope has made against me in two games is crazy. Crazy. But the good news is, I think we got a finesse there. I'm gonna go double check here real quick because I think we got a finesse. So that's good. Man, I'm I'm so tired. I'm so, I'm so tired. <laughs> Four tackles, one out of forty three. Isn't that mad? So what do we do here? First owned. Ooh, first owned assists. Nice. That's a cool little thing. I didn't even know first owned things were a thing, even if for things. Um, winning rivals. Let's go. D9. That should be our next in our next game, right? Nice. I like that. Coin boost. That'll be good. All right. Um, early access. So. One of two. Two of four. Two of four. Okay, good. Good. So we need two more of those. Two more of those. My goodness. All right. Well, I think I'm going to call it there for the YouTube epi for the day, boys. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed all of that. Again, it's going to be a long grind of editing and uploading and all that stuff. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Um, I mean, if you get mad at me complaining or questioning things that are happening in, happening in the game... Um, I don't think my Twitch channel or YouTube channel are a place for you. I'm sure Armalika is going to make it fun and 
you know these weird things happening he'll i'm sure he'll he'll start editing funny things in and whatever so at least it'll be a little bit more enjoyable via youtube but um i'm not gonna say anything about gameplay or servers even right now i am kind of confused at how clunky and everything is i i don't mind that it's slow i don't mind that goalkeepers are cracked i like it in fact but I need to start figuring out how to score from those areas, man. Because honestly, I know we won 4-1. Cruyff had a hat trick. I should have probably had about seven goals with Johan there. I really should have had about seven goals with Johan there. So I got to figure out whether we're doing low drivens or... I mean, that game that we lost was so crazy, dude. Oh my goodness gracious. So anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it uh in terms of johan's stats he's now up to 11 games 21 goals scored i think i'm gonna go buy an engine for him and see if that helps him out an engine or a hunter richarlis and i think we're gonna go get a hunter for him too and we're gonna start at least for the guys we know are gonna be in the team for a while like richarlis and well obviously Cruyff. maybe we start putting some chem styles on them to just see if it makes them better because like richarlis and man i'm not gonna lie is not great <laughs> I think he has some goal. He has one goal in four games, for God's sakes, dude. One goal in four games, Amen. bro. That's a concern. Zero goals for Traore in 11 games. I mean, this is the first owner PMRTG right here for you, man. There it is. The Cruyff to glory pain is right here. Guys like this are just so bad. I mean, Nicola Pepe's got three goals and five assists at the very least. But, dude, Traore, oh my god. Donny only one assist and no goals from four games. From a guy that's playing in the Rude Hullet role, bro, Nabi Keita scored two. No, one goal and two assists in his first game. Donny kind of sucks, boys. I think I'm going to put Nabi back in the team. Unfortunately, this is not the career mode, um, Donny. Sanchenko's all right. Tyrone Mings is all right. Veltman's terrible. Um, this is obviously just for the thing. We sub players out as... as we will do for the EA Access stuff. Fredericks is okay. I actually think Nelson Semedo is probably a bit better than him. And Galini's fine. I don't want to blame Galini. Galini's faced four shots and conceded three in the last two games. I, I don't know if that's totally his fault or not. Or again, it's just I'm getting unlucky with the uh, with the type of gameplay. So God bless you guys. I hope you've enjoyed the first edited uh, episode of the the Cruyff to Glory, the first owner, Poor Man Road to Glory, whatever you want to call it, and. Uh, We'll get right back on that grind tomorrow. Now, just so you guys know as well, on stream, I'm still going to keep grinding. We're going to play a couple more Rivals games and a bit of squad battles and stuff like that. But any marquee packs, we will save for tomorrow, uh, for the start of the Epi tomorrow or whatever. Catch you on the flip side. Peace.